Hey guys, how's it going? It's Kay from KNF Productions, and I have Frankie and <laughs> Ryan. Wait. Here that <laughs> I'm here! And we are doing Whoa. another Ryan, Call I like Duty. your chair. Oh, it's the whole... <laughs> we're Blubbers. doing our Call of Duty games tier list. Yes, that's what we're doing today. And so we've been through the ringer of the games. Yeah. Oh. Look at this dude guzzling G Fuel <laughs> in the bottom corner. <laughs> so, He's like, look at my G Fuel, look at my G Fuel. So, newest to oldest. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So, MW. So, Modern Warfare, so, that's, that's the right. newest one, right? Let's go over tier list if you don't know what it is. S is the best of the best. And then it goes down to D. D is bad. I never Very played because some of these games are pretty old. I don't think some of us will have played them. Yeah. So, and then yeah. once we put them all in, we'll rearrange if we need to. Right. So. Sure. So we're doing, again, we're doing it from newest to oldest. Yeah, so MW. All right, well, let's, dis you guys let's discuss. Uh, for me, Call of Duty Modern <clears throat> Warfare is a hit or miss some days because some days you that got the worst timing and the worst luck, and then other days it's like, bro, we're frying today. So for me, it's overall a good game. Like, there's good maps, but the spawns suck. Spawns you know? are bad. Okay. Yeah, and the, the, I would say, in a term of, if it was just pubs, there's no war zone. Mm -hmm. I think it would be pretty low. Yeah, and even like war zone is this is definitely the best like I think battle royale I've played. Oh, I agree. I agree. For Call of Duty, I'd say yeah. And so for, I think this game, if it didn't have Warzone, I think it'd be pretty low because the pubs are like, the pubs are okay, mm -hmm. but you're not getting like, I don't know, it just doesn't feel as good. Like the spawns are like, yeah, that those spawns are trash. Mm -hmm. And all the maps for multiplayer suck. That and, aren't like the DLC ones. Right, and they don't have like the typical three lane yeah. play, game of play, like, gameplay. Yeah. And being someone who actually played the <clears throat> campaign, because you guys didn't, yeah, the, the no, campaign didn't story is kind of trash but seeing all the og characters is really cool so for me i'm sit like like if you're looking at the overall game plus warzone i think i'm giving it an a rating a or b yeah i would say meh pubs meh to almost trash pubs because sometimes it'll be like very trash but they have gunfight in the game and that can be fun gunfight's good and not but... many other call of duty's had that that's true, but again, you could almost do that with just GBs. True. And this one has a built-in game battles lobby as well. Yeah. So, for me, the, um... personally, I do B or C. So... Yeah, I would... Like, the, fa the fact that, uh... That you need certain attachments to make any gunfight on a one-on-one -on -one scale. Like, if you wanted to have a fair fight... You need to be either one using the same gun and the same attachments as the person you're going up against, or if they're using a gun that's more overpowered than another, you're most likely not going to win that gunfight unless they miss somehow. Mm -hmm. So I would, yeah, I would say it would it, without Warzone, it would have to be a probably a B, B or C. And I'd agree on that too. Like the amount of like times that nothing's been nerfed. Or like true. rebalanced, it's insane. Like they don't listen FP5 to their... yeah. after eight months is still the same gun. So I would say, in terms of that case of the meta, the meta in this game sucks. So what we're looking at so, a B rating overall. I'm looking I'm, at a B. I'm thinking a B. Okay, so Modern Warfare B, is in fact for, a B rating. For me personally, I'm doing like almost C, but I'm okay. fine with B. Yeah, All right, B. So then what was after yeah. that? I'll take that. Um, so. Before that, we had Black um, Ops 4. True. So. Um, you sh yeah, I think so. So. Is that this one? Um, no, that's, yeah, that's 4. I can kick this one off by saying I think okay. this game is trash. And here's why. Because, first of all, there is no campaign. And being somebody who enjoys playing through the campaign, there was no campaign. And then, secondly, Black Ops 4 multiplayer was just a reskin of Black Ops 3 multiplayer. It was the same 
freaking operators, skins, whatever you want to call it, same maps. They brought back some old Black Ops maps, which was cool. But, like, oh, my gosh. And I'm not a kind of jump around exoskeleton skin I can fly mm. kind of person. Yeah. But I know some people are, so I'm not going to take anything away from that. But, like, I don't know. I thought Blackout sucked as well. The war or their uh, battle royale was just not fun, and it was hard. Yeah, it was it not was difficult to like get anything achieved. Yeah. In, that, in that game mode, but that's me. You asked me. You asked me like any spot on the actual black the blackout map. Couldn't tell you one. Yeah, me like, yeah. Like, I mean, I know Nuketown boring. was on there. <laughs> it enjoyed Black Ops Four. It was. It was a very it, the only way that I actually tolerated it was only because people played as if it was boots on the ground. Was this one jumping around? Yeah, it was. Was Black Ops 4 a jump around game? No, I thought one, Black Ops 3 was. There's no air, like, jetpacks or anything in Black Ops 4. Oh, I did not. I don't remember that. Okay. That's my bad. There's, then. It was only Black... sliding and, like, crap yeah. like that. So, Black, I enjoyed Black Ops 4 only because it, there was no jetpacks and that it would have the same feel as Black Ops 3 did. So if you were to just take out jetpacks and then just put the number four on the game instead of three, I think it'd just be the same game. For me, like if I were to base these games just off pubs, I'd have to put Black Ops 4 above MW for pubs. But if we're factoring in everything, right. I'd be fine putting it. I put it below it. Let's see. Yeah. Yep. Deal. Yeah. All right. So we got so, done deal. Now Modern Warfare at B back. and then Black Ops 4 at C. So, we got World War II. World yep. War II. <clears throat> oh my it's god! Next bang. You want me to start on this one? Yeah, go ahead. Sure. Yeah, you go. Yeah. So World War II. Um. Again, since it was like a game that came out like a while ago, I what like two years, three years ago. Twenty seventeen. It was um. Yeah, 2017. Yeah. Yeah. It was like again. You're probably gonna get this for most Call of Duty games nowadays because it's not like your childhood game that you played. But again, you could probably ask me what map was your favorite. I wouldn't be able to tell you. Yeah. Um, but the game mode, there's a certain game mode that carried, I feel like, World War II the most. There was two game modes. It was game battles and mm-hmm. uh, war. He can't hear you. Ryan. Ryan, come back. But while he's fixing, I'm going to go on to the campaign and say that the campaign <laughs> there's group <laughs> the campaign was cool because i'm like a world war 2 historian buff so that was cool to have a campaign base in that time frame but the campaign lacked serious moments like you know in in, in modern warfare like big character deaths are all mm-hmm. over that story you you walk into the world war 2 campaign and there's one big character death so it's really like nothing huge really happened in the campaign, which is kind of similar to the Modern Warfare 2019 campaign. It's nothing huge happened. So that's what I didn't like about the campaign. I like the time frame. Um, so overall campaign, I guess what I have to get like a B or C, but multiplayer, uh, I know you had mentioned the game battles, which was really cool because it was the first Call of Duty to actually implement into that into the game, which I thought was really cool. And I really like war two for like the look of the game mm-hmm. and i thought like now this is gonna sound i guess weird but like the color grading of the game the way it looked i agree like the particles or you know whatever the textures they all looked super good i really like old <clears throat> war games but yeah just ppsh just ruined that for me yeah see that's hard <clears throat> i said we put it at c for now okay yeah i'm down we'll with tie it up and then we can switch stuff around mm-hmm. if we need all right, the next game, Infinite Warfare. Yeah. We don't need to talk F. Put it in F. We don't need to talk about it. Put it in F. <laughs> no. But, okay, at least, we got to at least give it a fighting chance. No, we don't. So, hold on. There's wait. There's wait. I'm chewing ice. Um, I don't want Infinite hear Warfare. It was trash. Infinite Warfare <laughs> was trash. Was. Hold on. <laughs> Listen. Infinite Warfare was trash. <laughs> Okay. No, what they did was they turned Call of Duty into Star Wars, and it sucked. Huh? Infinite Warfare F. Yeah. Thank you. Can we, we go with yeah. that? We're good with that. We are, we are not changing yep. that. 
Yeah. <clears throat> and then next was Black Ops 3. Correct? Yep. That's a good game. Yep. <laughs> I will yep. let Ryan start the conversation on that one. All right. If I'm not lagging, um, <laughs> Black Ops 3 is the pre Black Ops 4, in my opinion. It is the jumpy jump around Black Ops 4. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> it, it was the first Call of Duty to implement a camo once completing diamond on every gun. That's true. Uh, well, diamond, I think, was first created in Black Ops 2. Yeah. So this was the first gun. This was the first game to implement a overall completionist camo, which was Dark Matter. The zombies was good. Uh, the campaign was kind of weird, it but was they had hard a campaign. To yeah, it was, it was confusing. very hard to follow. They were trying to weave campaign with zombies mm -hmm. for some reason. And uh, yeah, I would say I would put the game above Black Ops 4. That's just me because I played it so much and I have Dark Matter in the game. So I would put it above Black I Ops 4. I would say Black Ops 3 is easily better than Black Ops 4. And like... I mean, I'm not a fan of jumping around and stuff, but it had a whole different feel to the game. It didn't feel like Black Ops anymore, really. But, like, I think Supply Drop started in Advanced Warfare, and you could start getting, like, different, like, paintings on your yeah. on your guy and different stuff, which I yep. thought was stupid. I did not like Supply yeah. Drops because it, it made everything, including Black Ops 3, feel like, again, not like Call of Duty. It felt like it made a joke out of the game where people could be, like, just, like, running around as clowns, and I thought that was just really stupid. Um, yeah, but multiplayer, player, multiplayer, <laughs> multiplayer, Markiplier, <laughs> Markiplier, <laughs> multiplayer base. Like it wasn't bad. It was new. Um, and I know zombies was good in that game. So and I know it's better than Black Ops th Four. So I'm putting at a B or a C. For me, Black Ops Three. I would say I liked. The sniping in Black Ops Three. Me too. Yeah. And this was that was like the final game you could trick shot on, and now you know that's just off the face of the earth. But yeah, that's like the final game you could trick shot. I like the sniper. The snipers are good. Again, the guns. Like, of course, there's a couple of guns that are like you have that you're most likely going to destroy somebody without it. Mm -hmm. But it was way it's way better than MW and World War Two on that. Like, you could use whatever gun you want if you just have the right attachments in terms of, like, you know, extended mags or whatever and put it on. Mm -hmm. I really liked Black Ops 3 in that case. So, I had an all-around good time on Black Ops 3. And the skins, yeah, the skins were nice. And entertainment-wise, so, like, watching Black Ops 3, like, content creators playing game battles was a ton of fun to watch. Yeah. Like, when Nate watching shot, Nate, I, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like, a Roto 100 all with Embos and, and Merc. Like... So, yeah. B or so, C? I'll, I'll give it a B. I'd give it a B. Okay. Because later down the road, I feel like Black Ops 4 could be dropping down to a D. So. Mm, yeah, I'd give Black Ops 3 a B. Okay. And so Black if Ops we're doing 3. left is better, right is worse, right? Modern yep. Warfare is better than Black I'd Ops I'd put it on 3. the right of Modern Warfare. Yeah. Okay. Because there's a lot of thought that went into Modern Warfare. There's a lot going on in that game, even though. Well, I'm just saying, there's a lot of bad stuff in Modern Warfare. <laughs> there's a lot of bad things, yeah. So, this right. isn't easy, I would say. Before Black Ops Three, next is Advanced Warfare. Okay. Uh, uh, to the right of Infinite Warfare. <laughs> Put it actually in trash. No, no. <laughs> trash. I think Advanced Warfare is a D. Jumpy. Yeah. You know, I'm in space. You know, well, no, this this yeah. wasn't space yet. Infinite Warfare well, yeah. was space. But I mean, like, this added all that, and then this paved the way to have those games. I feel like if they didn't hit that spot, there would be no, you know, it would have all just been boots on the ground, which would have probably saved Call of Duty, probably a couple of years on trash games. So I'd be fine with D, but personally, I'd put like it low D tier. Yeah. Yeah. D. Okay. D almost yep. F. 
Ghost. I didn't play the most of Ghost. I didn't either. But I did. I thought Ghost was actually like not terrible. No, it wasn't. Because I remember going to your house, came back in the day, and I just bring my PS3 and we play Ghosts. Yeah, but it's like... definitely I think better than these two games. Which two? so that's why I... these two DNF. Mm-hmm. So that's why I think we have a problem here. Because think, there's no way Ghost is better than these two games. Ghost had a like very similar to World War II, a very clunky feel to it, very different feel than any other Call of Duty game I've played. <laughs> I would say <laughs> this game is not <laughs> on par with these two games. Yes, it is. There's no way. Yes, it is. These two Black Ops I would say, 4 okay. should be a D. I'm just saying. I, no, 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 no. There's no way this game is better than this game. <laughs> yes, it I is. I would say to balance this out. In terms of, because we added another row, bump these two up, and do this. Uh Uh-uh. Because this game is not as good as these two games. That's a straight fact. Okay, I will agree with this. The people won't agree with you, but I will agree with this. So, are we fine bumping all of these up, I guess? Yeah. To then put Ghost on C. I still feel like Black Ops 4 should be like way down there. But why? Because all Fire your base, all, you're having pubs carry it so high. All right, so next we had 2012 Black Ops 2, which that's going on the superior S. It's going at the top. You can't tell me it's not. It was the first game in Call of Duty to implement choices in the campaign and have a different ending based on what you chose it was it had top tier guns it has classic maps like raid and standoff but for me the black ops 2 campaign was very fun very new very fresh it was cool to see the old characters come back from black ops 1 um i didn't like originally the futuristic look to the game and how it like jumped from current times like 13 years in the future but looking back at it, looking back at the ranked play in the game, which top notch is unbeatable. No other Call of Duty has matched that. So World I War think, Two ranked sucked. Right. So I'm giving Black Ops Two the S. For me, I only played Black Ops Two uh, at Frankie's house, mm-hmm. and I'm, when I played it, I had a blast. Like the game. Even from playing it, you know, literally, like, maybe once a month. Yeah, what, we were, like, you 11 know? or 10 back then? Yeah, like, that game it was still really good. Yeah. And so, I definitely agree. It's above these two games. So, I'd be fine putting it at S. Once we go down the other games, I don't know if I'd put it at S personally. But well, I think as a whole, S is where it should be at. Yeah. We had our first yeah. S-tier game. What was next? Modern Warfare 3? Yep. 2011. Yeah. Okay. Let's hear it. I... It Okay. The rest of these games, they're bangers. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I can't say it any other way. He's never Modern Warfare 3 is a banger. This game is, I feel, so good. Like, I don't know. And that, partly for these three games, it could just be they're so like not old but i was young playing them they could just have you know i probably only remember the good memories of the games Mm -hmm. but i don't know i think mw3 is a dub like i feel like this game's super good um modern warfare 3 was my second ever call of duty to play um i was like 10 or 11 at the time it came out it was very fun i think it first it was the first Call of Duty to implement like a face-off like game mode. It was either one v one, two v two, three v three, and four v four. They didn't they didn't release more maps for the face-off, but they had two very good ones. I think it was Erosion, and then there was like a different map uh, with a ship, like two ships. Um, it was the first Call of Duty that implemented Infected, and Infected was yeah, the was best game mode. F- Call I would of Duty say, Ghost of its had time. Infected. I loved Infected at Call of Duty Ghost. I have one of my funniest clips of ever playing that on you. Yeah, more for three below Black Ops 2, though. Like, right underneath it. Yeah. I would say, in terms of... Because, okay, 
I'm fine bartering, putting this here. Wait, we're doing left is good. I, I, right I'm yeah. talking about like r to the right of Black Ops 2. Right is good, left is bad? Left is left good, is right, good, right, is, right bad. is bad. Then I would say put it here. If left is good. I'm cool with that. I, I was thinking like in S tier rank to the right of Black Ops 2. I'm cool oh, with it being an A because we got a couple big games coming up that are yeah, going to be out there. Say... Uh, next was Black Ops 1. Okay. I. Oh my god, yes. Go ahead. So, Black Ops 1 to me, like, I played a lot of MW2, mm -hmm. but I started playing MW2, like, while it was, like, in its life cycle, like, right. partway through. Black Ops, I was there for the entire thing. Me too. So I played a lot of Black Ops, and Black Ops was, like, Frankie, you were talking about on Black Ops 2, how you would, like, go with like random people you just start talking to just them and met, you know yeah. like yeah just met that's my game like black ops that was my game mm -hmm. i go into lobbies you know like one in the chamber or something wager matches stuff yeah. like that and i like bop people and they'd be like oh you know that guy and stuff like that like that was my game on that mm -hmm. and that that's feeling, the game of trash talk like that no but that feeling i'll never i won't get that in another game like i black ops one is my favorite Call of Duty game of all time. Like, you have the best unlocking system you've ever implemented into a Call of Duty with winning money from each game you play, being able to buy perks to unlock them, buy guns to unlock them, buy attachments to unlock Getting the, them. The pro, the pro perks as well you have to unlock. Mm -hmm. And then yep. being able to prestige, like, so high. Like, that banner right next to your number rank, that was everything. Everybody mm. wanted that skull and crossbones to be the highest prestige possible and get gold on their L96 sniper rifle. Like, that That sniper rifle is the best sniper rifle in Call of Duty besides the intervention. Yeah. Um, and and the guns, again, in this game, I think you could almost use any gun. Like, I agree. You could run with whatever you wanted, and you'd be completely fine, and you just have fun in it. Like, you could run... Yeah. There's, like, three or four... Or five assault rifles you can run easy. Three to four SMGs you can run easy. Shotguns the, were also a huge thing in that game. Like, this game brought the good maps. Mm -hmm. Like, this game was yeah. the dub on Iron maps. Iron Range, Nuketown, Jungle, Summit, WMD, like, like So many good ones. Like, so. And the campaign. Oh my gosh. Yep. The zombies. Zombies. That's the yeah. best zombies game ever. Oh, dude. Okay. Keynote or Toten, dude. When this game, like, had the release date, you know, put out and stuff, I remember winning this game so bad. And now, this is going to be first heard, but I remember winning this game so bad. And I asked my dad if we could get this game. Because, <laughs> you know, first of all, if you like Shubby playing these games. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. No, that was... And he was fine with it because he knows I'm not stupid, right? Mm -hmm. So we get... I'm, like, wanting to play this game so bad, it drops. It's, like, the day after it drops. And my dad's like, hey, can you unload these groceries? And in the bottom of the bag <laughs> is this copy of Black Ops 1. And I was so This is the best day of your life. And Playing that game on <laughs> was insane. I remember like being so scared to play zombies because I'm like so young at the time. Mm -hmm. But yep. I'm like, I'm gonna play it because it's new. So good. So good. Yeah, I I, I could I, I wasn't allowed to play the game back in the day, so like I would have to play like like if I'm home six, my brother got the game. And I would just have to play yeah. it like when nobody's home and nobody's watching and bro it was the best i played i started playing mw2 like through its life cycle but mw2 is like this game both black ops and mw2 have insane replayability like i could i played those games every day mm -hmm. after school every day just play it like non-stop get home play the game that's it that'd be like my entire day for you know the year and stuff for this mm -hmm. game the guns you know people always talk about like oh the model 
you know, like the model shotguns, like they were busted running the Makimbo and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And stuff like, like nitpicks, I would say, but like the guns, I just felt were so nice. Like you look at it now and it might seem clunky, but of course, you know, it's an old game. It was in 2009. It's like insane intervention bear, both amazing snipers, Mm -hmm. people trick shot, people quick scoped. I felt like it was perfect for like how they balance the games. The first and only game that I've tried to get a nuke on. Like, I don't know. That game. It was the first ever game with a tactical nuke. Yeah. It's like that game, only good memories. The maps, I felt like were amazing. People always, you know, hate on the old games because they're only like one color palette. But I mean, it's an older game. It's going to look like that now for sure campaign campaigns the biggest dub i feel like mm-hmm. the campaign's insane especially when you're like nine ten playing the <laughs> yeah. campaign you're, you're like, like oh what? my god <laughs> ghost alive dude ghost is alive like corridors that and you map, have open areas that you're actually just gunning people down that skyscraper map was it called high rise mm-hmm. i remember like you could jump off to that side railing and go on top yep. of the buildings. Like you don't see that in maps anymore. Yeah. Where you have a secret spot where you can just run off and go up and people have to figure that out mid game. Like you don't see that anymore. That's what, that was just so cool about that game. Yeah. I, I love that game. So now is the question, is it an S tier? Yes, it is. We all know that. Yes. But is it to the I left? I wouldn't put it above Black Ops 1 right or 2. Black Ops 1. For, and now, to the right. this is where we get tricky. Mm-hmm. Because for me, I'd put it here. Because I liked it more than Black Ops 1, and I had a blast on Black Ops 1. But this was another game, like Black Ops 1, that I would like meet random people. I had friends like playing this game, and we'd hop on and stuff. Yeah. But like, for me, like putting it all together campaign wise and everything as well even though this doesn't have zombies because that's black ops one for me i put it here for me it's between black ops one and two because black ops one and modern warfare two both have solid they both have solid campaigns i think you give the edge to modern warfare on campaigns both have solid multiplayer but you add black ops with zombies a whole new aspect to the game that was amazing I would put Black Ops 1 first, Modern Warfare 2 second, Black Ops 2 third. That's what I would okay, put. Okay, I'm, I'm fine with this. Yeah. Because I do this, I'm fine with this, this I wouldn't agree. No, yeah, so I agree this, with that. This, That's I'm good fine. with me. Modern Warfare 1 or Call of Duty 4, we introduced the characters like Soap and Price and Gaz, you know, Zakaev, I, Makarov. I personally never really played it. I only played the remastered version mm-hmm. of COD 4. Are we doing World at War or COD 4? COD 4. COD 4. I never really played COD 4. Um, the only memories I do have on it are the snipers and that one map where there was like the two apartment buildings and then you had like the huge middle like fountain area. Mm-hmm. I loved that map. Um, uh, shipment was huge that I remember. Um, I don't remember. I, I really don't have. No, I don't remember any of the names of the maps, but like, you look at the, that game, there's classic maps written all over it. The campaign, another classic, amazing campaign. The ragdolling effect on, on guys is always <laughs> funny to go look back at. Um, yeah. But when I think when you compare it to Call of Duty Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2, I don't think it meets that, so I put it in the A tier. To the right of Modern Warfare 3. It's Modern Warfare. 2019. Ooh, I'd I put, put it underneath Modern Warfare. Well, I would put the original Modern Warfare before Modern Warfare 3. Or in between Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2019. Ooh, no, no, no. No, no, no. I'd put, I'd put this COD 4 to the right of Modern Warfare. I don't think it's better than it. You don't you don't think COD Four is better than Modern Warfare Twenty Nineteen? <clears throat> no, I would say this, this is why your name's not in the YouTube channel. <laughs> God, <laughs> I'm okay with right there. I'm okay with that. Okay. And we got World War Two left, 
or uh, World at War. World, World at War. Any of you play this? I played it a little bit. It it was the first game to implement zombies. It was like a it was a Easter egg at the end of the campaign. So you beat the campaign, and all of a sudden you see on your screen Nazi zombies. Can you imagine middle of the night? You finish the campaign. <laughs> you're so excited. You got the you got cutscene happening. You finish the game. All the credits start to roll. Boom. Right at the end, you see red screen Nazi zombies, and you hear a scream of a zombie in the background. You're like. What the what? heck is happening? You're up till two a.m. What, what is happening? <laughs> right, and then all of a sudden you see round one, and then go to the bottom left. You see the zombie map, Nocturne Toten. Right? Can you just imagine how how many chills you'd probably like, get? It's like wait, factor. Like zombies? Like this is dope. I did not play the most pubs on this game. Mm-hmm. The yeah. only time I think I ever played this was when I went to a cousin's house. And I played zombies. So zombies was awesome. I thought zombies was great. I to to butt in to butt in World at War also on computer you can have mods now. It's like it's not dead like some of these other games are. I wouldn't say dead. It's a B in front of World War Two. Yes. In front of Black Ops three or four as well. Black Ops 4 should be an I F. I put it... You know, cause... the more I look at this, like... Maybe you drop Modern Warfare down to a B and World War 2 down to a C. But if you're dropping World War 2, you're dropping Black Ops 4 with it. Yeah. I would swap Advanced Warfare and Infinite Warfare. No, dude. You just like Infinite Advanced Warfare, Warfare because like you, you... the campaign had Conor McGregor and freaking Jon Snow from Game of Thrones. <laughs> did it? <laughs> yes, it did. I would, <laughs> no, I would, I would, no. The only reason Here's I would swap happened. them... Here's what happened. Infinite Warfare, the, the Call, Call of Duty said, our game sucks so bad. We gotta go get the biggest names out there so people will play our game. That's what they I said. Would... Like this, I agree. I agree with this. I would say, like, I would, I think, Ryan, you got dropping a nice, nice forehead, bro. Modern Warfare down to a B is true. Mm-hmm. I think that's big facts. War down, War Two down is big facts. But you gotta move Modern Warfare ahead of both of those games on the B list. So put the here. Yes. Because I'm fine with this. I mean, I still think Black Ops Four should be F, F. But I mean, if that's what we're looking at, then I'm cool with it. So this is the official KNF Gaming slash KNF Production slash Snapper Doodle yeah. official Call of Duty game ranking. Here, let's yep. do a quick overview. So Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 2. I think these are almost tied. This Which game's ones? Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare 2. Yes, they are almost tied. These games are almost tied. Black Ops 2 is a dub. Then we go down to MW3, which I think is amazing. Mm-hmm. These two games, Black Ops 3, so much time into. Then Modern Warfare... I think Warzone is carrying it, but the pubs, I think, are better than the rest of these. So I'm fine with it being here. And even like the Call of Duty Modern Warfare pubs are are nothing to brag about. I mean, when you look at like gunfights, they're they're hit or miss as well. The timing is hit or miss. The maps are fun to see from classic Call of Duties, but the spawns are the spawns awful. are trash. Yeah. So. And the way the I maps guess, are set like, up. Warzone is carrying this one, I think, so hard. But I'd yeah. rather have it be than A. Yeah. So this I'm fine with. Good. Black Ops 4, I think, deserves its spot here. Ghosts and World War Two, I think, are a tie. Because World War Two is, like, great. We're back to boots on the floor. Mm-hmm. And I would I would say, like, Ghosts and World War Two are, like, not even, like, left or right who's better. They're just tied. Yeah, and they're both made. They're, they're both made by like Sledgehammer and Raven, aren't they? 
I thought they oh, both because maybe that's why they had the both like the same feel of the game. I guess it tried. <laughs> you should <laughs> DNF have... is sad to be down there. So if we didn't have these, we have a pretty skewed right. This is This is a good list. I agree with this. So we're yep. we're cashing in our chips. Yeah, I guess this is our list, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let us know what you guys yep. think down in the comments That's if you it. agree or disagree or whether these uh, games should be on different tiers. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. We're trying to grow this channel. This will be also on our main channel, I believe. So um, go ahead, check that out yes. on our main channel. You can also check it out on our gaming channel. That'll be there too. Um, drop us a subscription because we're trying to grow. Turn on notifications so you know, see every time we upload a video. See if any of these guys upload a video as well. Keaton uploaded a Warzone video the other day. Uh, it was It was epic. 21 kill dub duos yep, like that sure. uh but if you guys don't know i myself i'm f from KNF productions f from KNF gaming i'm frankie keaton's up there k from KNF gaming slash KNF productions and that's ryan he's snapper doodle he has his own channel snapper doodle productions i'm just kidding it's just snapper doodle uh, <laughs> it's, it's down in the description below you go check him out but you know we're all friends in high school and we're all just living the dream in quarantine Ooh. Quarantine. I'm on not a rapper. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Goodbye.